everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Today is Friday the 31st. Can you believe that? It's the end of March. Anyway, um, today is the Friday the 31st and it's the results of my day three fat fast. So today would be the day four of doing it. We are reviewing yesterday's results. Okay, so hey, by the way, did you see that picture of that goose that I took from the trail this morning? Well, guess what? That wasn't the only goose. The second goose appeared on my scale this morning. That's right, zero. I lost nothing. But you know what? That is okay. I think that while we're doing keto, when we do a water fast, when we do a fat fast, we assume that, oh my goodness, I'm going to be 12 pounds lighter. And for some people, that may happen. But for me, that's not the case. And I'm doing an experiment because I'm truly trying to learn who I am what I am and I know that it's not going to be an overnight fix I know that it's going to be a true journey and I just have to stick with it and that's what I'm doing so the other piece of that is that the fat percentage the muscle percentage and the water percentage was a bit wonky I'll include that here so I don't know I'm gonna just have to start building a chart and just trending this and see if I can see where there's a pattern um, I do know, and sorry if this is too much information, but I do know that during this egg fast, I have excluded some of the things that we typically do here in the restroom. Sorry, TMI, but it's the truth. So that could obviously have an effect on the scale. Um, what you don't know is that I suffer from Crohn's disease as well as from um, Hashimoto's thyroiditis. I've had that for, I guess, 26 years now. So that could be part of the problem. I don't know. This is my journey, trying to figure out how this entire puzzle fits together. And guess what? I'm hoping that you'll help me figure it out. So many of you guys might have similar conditions. Say, hey, I do this, I try this, I did this. Um, I had my gallbladder removed doctor never said, hey, you need to be taking these bile salts. I've just introduced those to my diet. So, and yesterday was actually the first time that I remember to take it in like a week's time. That could have been a factor. So who knows? So many different things, but I will at the end of this, hopefully, not this egg fast, hopefully once I've reached my goal, I'll say, now I understand what my body is trying to do. Who knows? Okay, so here's the other interesting thing is that I um, was kind of in a hurry to get my ketones and my uh, glucose measured uh, because it's Friday, I want to spend time with the hubby when he gets home and so uh, I went ahead and got everything prepared, took the test, glucose came back 111. 111! I was like, no, not right. Then I remembered, Alma, you didn't wash your hands. I washed my hands, I did my alcohol swab, got a different result. I should have done it maybe three times just to make sure it was accurate, but I knew it. I knew that 111 wasn't right. So let's look at that. The second one came back with a 90. Isn't that kind of crazy that just wash, not washing your hands could make that much of an impact? And um, there you go. 111. That's what it was the first time I did it. So remember, wash your hands, I typically do. I was just in a hurry, I forgot it, and finally figured it out. Now, I said zero, you say, right? Well, one would say that, starting at my nub max, one would say that if you're in nutritional ketosis that your body should be doing something. And I'm sure deep down in the layers, something's going on, because here's my ketones. Best reading I've had yet, 2.6. Now, what I can tell you is, scale didn't change, but you know what? The last two days, no hot flashes. Zero. Zero hot flashes. And my proteins have been reduced through this fat fast. So, you know, if nothing else, I have learned something. So, that's kind of cool. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and include all the uh, nutritional information, the macros, from last night's meal. Um, when I wake up in the morning, I will make a decision as to whether I am going to do an additional day or go ahead and stop. Um, I am considering trying to maybe drive an hour away with my husband and going to an Aldi's. 
I have all these envy folks. So we don't have an Aldi's here. It's an hour away. I do have a Sprouts, like three miles from my house, but I don't have an Aldi's. So there you go. That that's hopefully something that hubby will say. You know what? If I tell hubby we don't have to go walking or on the trail, he'll say, Oh, okay, we'll do it. He will go on the trail with me, but there's times where he definitely does not want to go with me. So anyway, we'll see how that works out tomorrow. <clears throat> so uh, let's see. Is there anything else I've left out? Um, food. I'll include my macronutrients, like I said, and I will include a urine strip. And I think that's it. You just keep it short and sweet. Um, I hope you have a wonderful start of your weekend. Be safe out there if you're going out and traveling. And I look forward to talking to you next week, watching videos tonight. And um, everybody, just uh, keep going. All right? All right, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless. Enjoy your family. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.